Hi, it's nice to have you back here in my new video again. Today, let's talk about the Canon Obsidian Pro. You know, with this monster 360 filmmaking VR camera, I have so much information to share with you. I'm coming next. On April 15th, I was lucky enough to be invited to attend the Canon Obsidian Pro launch event back in Beijing. I have participated from start to finish, and I also have some private talk with the product manager or the CEO of Canon and I have a lot to share with you. You know, launch event was talking in Chinese and I'm gonna translate some of the key part into English upcoming next and show you side by side uh, a lot more first-hand information. Let's get started. You know, the Canon Obsidian Pro is the second generation in the Obsidian series. If you are online at the launch event, you will see a summary video about some amazing works captured with the Canon Obsidian 8K360-360 camera. And you will also see some of the best wishes coming from the Obsidian masters, including Ignacio Fernando Magnelli, the creator of Hugh Ho, uh, the Andrew Shemenko from Russia, Naruto Somesi, Tominori Taniguchi from Japan, and the VR director Faris Lawrence. It has been quite a few years since the first generation of the Canon Obsidian. Uh, you know, it's the year 2021, and during the past few years, the candle has developed several one shot 360 cameras, including Obsidian, the Coolcam, the Coolcam 8K, Coolcam Phone, and some professional meeting cameras, including the candle Meeting and the Meeting Pro. So finally, in the 2021, the candle launched the second generation of the Obsidian, Obsidian Pro. So the spec looks like a monster. Judging from the candle CEO, Dan Chen, the Candle company has acquired a lot of experience during the past product development and they have packed all of the most cutting technology right inside the latest Obsidian Pro, the 12K VR filmmaking camera. And the Candle also makes some great explorations to expand the boundary of one 360 camera. So they have pushed to the meeting camera with the one 360 camera technology. People know Obsidian Pro as a 12K360 3D filmmaking VR camera, but uh, 12K is actually just a tiny little bit section of this monster. And there are a lot more detail, a lot more technology that has been packed inside this camera body. The candle has its own industrial designer, hardware engineer, software engineer, and optical engineer. So they packed the workflow from start to finish, they packed all of them together to create their own one shot 360 camera from the design to engineer and Craftsman. So the Obsidian Pro defines the most cutting technology of the Kendall company. Here are top three spec about Obsidian Pro. The number one is the Obsidian Pro contains eight, you know, eight, eight APS-C size large imaging sensors, and the Obsidian Pro has individual the aperture electrical aperture mechanism, and the aperture was designed to have. A, iris with five blades iris system so this is the first time that the 360 camera has an iris system as an aperture control from f 2.8 all the way down to f 16. so now you can have a very precise control of the light coming through the lens and with electrical motor inside the lens obsidian pro could also have a very precise control of the focus point with the large imaging sensors, the precision of the focal point is really important. And the Canon Obsidian Pro use eight individual motors to control the focus of the lens to guarantee that you can always capture crystal clear and sharp image from each of the lens. And judging from CEO Dan Chen, the lens is huge. It costs a lot of money from design to finish and the diameter of the first element, the first glass, the lens was made of glass and the first diameter of the first glass is as big as 10 centimeters. It looks like my face, you know, just like this. It's, it's big and the quality is just great. And for the Obsidian Pro, it could capture the 12K multiply 12K 3D image, 3D video, and it could also record 12-bit candle raw proprietary format right inside SSD. So inside this camera, you can always generate a ProRes or all i intro in 10-bit 422. It's super high quality, it's ProRes RAW. It's, it's like, I think it's a ProRes RAW. And also with the SSD, a super high speed and eight-in-one design. So this is not a conventional SSD, 
It is uh, consists of eight different parts. Uh, each part of the SSD takes the responsibility of one of the lens, one of the sensor. Pack them all together to make an integrated, complicated SSD. So it works like a single part of SSD with super high read and write I/O speed. And the maximum ISO of the APS-C sensor is 12800. Way larger than Obsidian first generation Obsidian S, Obsidian R, and it's also way bigger compared with the Insta360 Titan, which consists of eight micro four thirds imaging sensors. And the most powerful part of the whole pipeline is inside Obsidian Pro. It's from start to finish. It's a 12-bit workflow, so different from any other 360 manufacturer to 12-bit is super powerful and you can capture 12-bit raw data inside your SSD. Eight large APS-C imaging sensors, you're gonna get an insane wide dynamic range. For each one of the imaging sensors, by calculation, it could capture up to 14 stops. This looks like insane, right? For every one of the lenses, it has individual uh, an adjustable variable aperture design with iris system with five blades. Generally speaking, you can capture a very beautiful starlight at f16 with Obsidian Pro in photo and video. So that is another a very good point about Obsidian Pro. And here you can also see the uh, MTF charts in the Obsidian Pro in comparison with some other fisheye lenses, and you can see the quality of the lens. The build quality is really high and the imaging quality looks just stunning. Here another internal information from Kendall that for every one of the lens, the weight is around 800 grams. So 8 lenses, 800 grams on each lenses. So the Opportunity Pro is not a light camera, but a heavy duty and professional one shot 360 camera. Another interesting fact about the Obsidian Pro lens design, optical design is uh, it obeys the rules of the cinematic lens design, which means that if you change the focal point from near to infinity, and the FOV will never change. This is a key part of the high quality cinematic lenses that have been widely used in the cinema industry. The FOV of each lens is 195 degrees, and uh, you can literally capture every one of the frame with three lenses. So there are 300% overlapping in between all the frames. This is just insane. And it's crucial for the 3D stitching for the Obsidian Pro as well. The design of the cinema lenses is uh, just complicated. It has uh, 10 groups, 14 elements, and with uh, very advanced coating of first elements. And also there are some sapphire IR cut filter. And to get rid of the chromatic aberration, the engineer also implement the triplet and the lenses to get rid of all the chromatic aberrations that arrive on an imaging sensor. So this is insane. The Obsidian Pro could not only just capture 12K video and photo, you could also by super sampling to generate 8K, uh, 6K with higher frame rate. So this is just awesome. It's Super sampling will increase the quality of each of the frame of your final video. The Canon Obsidian Pro has so powerful hardware architecture that it's so powerful to, that it could deliver the 12K at 16 FPS. You know, the 12K at 16, 6, 0, 16 FPS. This is crucial for the VR headset because the VR headset has very high refresh rate. Actually, it's not a real 16 FPS, but the camera sensor, the SOC, read out the images by line skipping and for each of the sensor read out a 6,000 multiply 2,000. And with the AI super resolution algorithm, it exchange the 2,000 pixels all the way up to 4,000. So they get 12K, 16 FPS with the help of AI. And it's not just interpolating the frames. Uh, super res based on 16 FPS, but just the strange on the short edge of the frame. And on the long edge, you got a real 12K 60 FPS. That is insane. And this is a clever use with the AI and the camera hardware. And for internal recording capabilities, the Canon Obsidian Pro could internally record the 12-bit raw data with a proprietary format called KD RAW. And you can also uh, transcode the KD RAW into the Cinema DNG. That will boost your post-process workflow, uh, unleash the full potential of the 12-bit data. And you can also transcode the 12-bit proprietary format into the ProRes RAW. That is also another 
all into a format that boosts your workflow. And you can also generate H.265 10-bit 4.2.0 as well for fast and uh, uh, save more space. Another interesting fact about the Canon Obsidian Pro is there are an altogether nine super powerful chipset inside this camera. And for the eight of them, so it uh, takes the responsibility of each one of the imaging sensors with a super high speed readout. And for the ninth chipset, you're gonna have also in charge of uh, generate a 4K real-time stitching proxy file to boost your post process workflow. And the developer has told me that in the future, this nine chipset will also take the charge of the live feature of the Canon Obsidian Pro. So the Obsidian Pro is also another powerful 8K live camera, at least 8K, I think. Uh, and I ho do hope they could perform the 12K as long as the bandwidth is good enough. And the camera can insert a micro SD card to save the 4K stitched proxy file for your Obsidian Pro workflow. And the Canon Obsidian Pro also has its unique SSD design because the SSD has the, uh, in charge of the eight lenses readout. So inside this SSD module, it consists of eight different SSD and the read out at the same time with the same high speed so it's super powerful and there are altogether three options about the integrated as a city module four terabyte eight terabyte and 16 terabyte as well super powerful super lightning fast the obsidian pro also has the inbuilt imu sensor to so in charge of the real-time stabilization and it can also be utilized as to remove the jitter from each one of the lens. Every frame, every line of the imaging sensor is a perfect aligned with IMU data. So it's super powerful. It has a lot of potential in the future. And the DNG8 is another killer feature for the Kendall product from the CoolCam Obsidian to the CoolCam AK. And I love DNG8 a lot. Actually, with the APS-C size camera with a 14 stops dynamic range, you don't have to use DNG8, but the developer also give you DNG8 burst capture mode to help you generate stunning photograph with Obsidian Pro in your Pro use cases. So an APS-C size image sensor with DNG8 gonna blow your mind away. I, I suppose it's gonna generate even higher quality photos than the full frame image sensors. And with the design of the Canon Obsidian Pro app, the user got a full control of each one of the settings inside Obsidian Pro. Um, capture, video, photo, focus, aperture, everything you want. It's super powerful. On the bottom of the Obsidian Pro, there's also some high-speed ports. It's a 10 gigabyte Ethernet port, super powerful. It's 10 times faster than the normal Ethernet port. And the Canon Obsidian Pro support the two multiply to Wi-Fi 6 MIMO technology. Also integrate the Bluetooth 5.0 in exchange some of the key parameters with your phone and the camera. Uh, the high quality remote control, high quality light preview from the eight lenses. And the developer told me that in the future it's gonna provide you a perfect solution for the wireless remote light preview for the Canon Obsidian Pro with some extra modules to integrate together with Obsidian Pro. Super powerful. And this time the Canon Obsidian Pro has an inbuilt high quality GPS module. The GPS module has met all the requirements from the Google Street View Pro certification. So it is a 10 Hz output and aligned with each of the frame in real-time stitching, I think in the future, the Canon Obsidian Pro will definitely get the Google Street View Pro certification. That is another great feature for the Google Street View photographers if you are watching at the Obsidian Pro. Inside the Obsidian Pro, there is a super powerful heat sink design, heat dissipation system. The heat dissipation design is very precise and, and very complicated. To summary about the heat dissipation system, it's uh, very powerful and it works just great. And when the internal fan was running at the highest speed, it would generate a noise at uh, around uh, 23 dB. Uh, it is quite small and if you use uh, external audio recording, it doesn't matter about the final quality. And for the audio port of the Obsidian Pro, there are three options. Number one is support 3.5 microphone jack, so you can use your Zoom H3 VR as an ambisonic sound input for the Obsidian Pro. And that's why I also support a USB port external sound card input to boost your quality with the external sound input. And it also has inbuilt eight microphones as a, a MIMO array, microphone arrays 
to generate uh, acoustic localization and also uh, this is a great technology they have mitigated from the candle meeting pro and for the power supply solution for the Obsidian Pro, there are two options. So number one, you can use the AC adapter with the limo port, super reliable, and it supports a wide range of the DC input. And the next one is also support the industry standard V-mount battery. So the V-mount, the two V-mount battery, put them together, and you can charge your Obsidian Pro with the, the limo port. As well. These options are just great as well. Another good news about Obsidian Pro is the Mystical VR team is working on something great to try to make it compatible with the Mystical VR workflow. And I assume that in the near future, the Obsidian Pro is a Mystical VR compatible devices that boost your professional workflow from start to finish. And the Kendall company is also working on something great with their own Kendall Studio. The Kendall Studio is compatible with Obsidian Pro as well in the near future, as a fully support the 12K 3D stitching. It is a, a little bit difficult, but with the help of the AI, with the help of the uh, computer vision algorithm, I believe the Kendall team could deliver a stunning result to help you get rid of every one of the artifacts in the 12K 3D stitching from APS-C lenses. That is groundbreaking. And the Candle Studio is also compatible with the Mysticon VR. So Candle Studio has in charge of the 90% of the uh, 3D depth stitching. And for some uh, tiny little artifacts, they have uh, worked harmoniously with the Mysticon VR. And inside the Mysticon VR, you can finally get rid of every one of the artifacts in the 3D depth stitching and finally create seamlessly 3D 12K high quality video production to your clients. That is super powerful and it's great to see that the Candle Studio now, it's possible to work with the Mysticon VR to form a much more powerful workflow from start to finish. Another great news about Obsidian Pro is if you order the pre-order the Obsidian Pro before the May 31, you have an early bird discount that can get a free upgrade from eight terabyte to 16 terabyte the integrated SSD module. I know you gonna need 16 terabyte because there's a monster that gonna generate a large amount of data that I, I don't think that a single 16 SSD will meet your requirement. Maybe you need a multiple 16 terabyte SSD module to finally accomplish your job. And from launch event to Canon Obsidian Pro start shipping from the May 20th. And the CEO Dan Chen from Kendall also unveils another great information that they are now working on the Obsidian Pro Ambassador program that you're going to ship out some beta test unit uh, at the end of the April and trying to work uh, together with some of the uh, top notch 360 master all around the world. If you are uh, interested in the Obsidian Pro, we can go to my video description and uh, try to stay in contact with the team of the Obsidian Pro. And here I'm going to show you a live demo of the first impression about Obsidian Pro. You can see on the multi-touch screen on the Obsidian Pro, you can have different options, the photo and the video. And uh, another interesting fact is that Obsidian Pro is now equipped with log mode. You can capture the color and the flat log mode to unleash the full potential of the dynamic range capability of the APS-C imaging sensors. That is super stunning. And here you can also see the first live interaction with the Obsidian Pro based on the multi-touch screen with different options in the menus. And it's just great. It's just fluent and uh, it's uh, much more clearer, much more sharper compared with the Kuga K multi-touch screen. This is great. That is all about the information, the first-hand information I have captured, I have learned from the Obsidian Pro launch event. And I'm trying my best to transcode the Chinese launch event to English to tell you as much as I have learned and help you master, to help you learn, gain more knowledge about Obsidian Pro. And if you have more uh, interest in Obsidian Pro, you can go to my video description, join the Obsidian Pro Ambassador Program and help to push the boundary of the 360 industry to the next level. Talk to you soon. Until next time. Bye.